music is really essential and we can tell that from all sorts of findings. For example, we don't know of a civilization that existed without some kind of a musical culture, right? And, and also some, some archeologists say that Neanderthals, they sung, they, they weren't able to speak because of the structure of their mouth the way we do, but they needed to communicate in order to cohabitate. And apparently they used vocal inflections and you know, depending on how you define music, <laughs> It, it's, it's like melodies, right? Monkey babies are born much lighter than human babies uh, in relationship to their mothers, right? And they also are born with much more muscle strength. So from the moment that they're born, they can hang on to their mothers and their mothers can easily carry them. So basically they can be together 24 seven and the mother can just tend to every need that the baby has. Whereas human babies, they have really practically no muscles at all. And they're much, much heavier than the monkey babies. So they're meant to be put down. Why am I telling you all of this? Because human babies, it turns out, has an acute sense of pitch because human babies are designed to be taken care of by lots of different humans. So the baby needs to have an ability to tell apart an enemy from a caretaker. And they do that by hearing their vocal inflections, apparently. And so another reason why noise or music pitches, vocal inflections are so important to us. And that's why music is so powerful to us. Because, you know, when, when we hear things like this, it's like, oh, come here, baby, right? <laughs> us so much. If you have babies or if you have seen any babies, you know that they learn to communicate not through the understanding of the concepts of language, but through imitating vocal inflections. Often people who lost the ability to speak because of dementia or some kind of brain trauma, uh, you can still communicate to them through songs that they used to sing and they are often able to sing with you with the words even if they are not able to speak in the normal sense. Last September, um, NIH, National Institute of Health, announced that they were going to allocate $20 million to research in music and neuroscience. Um, and last November, um, WHO, World Health Organizations, for the first time endorsed, based on uh, 3,000 studies, that uh, arts, including music, is indeed um, very helpful for our well-being to maintain, but also in the hospital settings from, um, you know, N NICU to palliative care, right? Uh, to uh, children's de develop brain development, to uh, learning disabilities, to autism, to um, everything, everything, dementia, everything, everything. And they listed all sorts of studies and examples and very, very encouraging.